Our decision-making model um, is consensus based. Um, like I said, we have three coordinators and for us to, and we just develop the curriculum together, we develop the crop plan together, we develop the financial model for it together. Um, usually there's one person who will like volunteer to be like, okay, I'm gonna bottom line the crop plan, but then throughout the entire process before it's like approved and officially enacted, the other two coordinators give approval to that. Um, we are a working group of Concordia Greenhouse, so if you can picture it, there's like, there's like City Farm School is here, so there's the three of us like making decisions about how we'd like this project to run, and then we present it to the Concordia Greenhouse Collective, which is also a consensus-based organization, like consensus-based decision-making model, and then we present it to our board of directors, again, consensus-based, and then officially it'll go to our AGM. Um, I guess that's it for the, for the structure. Is that pretty much what you're looking for? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah? Uh, what about the division of labor? So who does what and like, the volunteers and workers have to take place? Um, oh, and I guess, well, sorry, in terms of the decision making too, I should mention how like, that's like how the staff operates. The staff operates with like the CFS coordinators, Greenhouse Collective, Greenhouse Board of Directors. Um, and that's for our broad plans for the whole year. Since our program runs for eight months, we have like a we have a plan that's set out into place. But then once our interns come in, our interns are our students, our plans fluctuate based on their input. Like they have the ability to tell us like, no, they don't like something. <laughs> and then we can change it or that kind of thing. And they can sort of direct the way that the learning goes.